Okay then, so this is the brand spanking new, for me at least, uh, F3 Shadow Wing from flyingwings.co.uk. This is just my little walkthrough of uh, exactly what I've installed and how I've installed it. So up front here we've got the Runcam Swift 2, which gives me a voltage display and a timer. We've got the Runcam 2 HD uh, for HD recording, and that's just that's just velcroed on, but that doesn't go anywhere, that doesn't come off. Just behind the Runcam Swift, I've got a Foxeer TM25 switchable 5.8 GHz transmitter. I've got a Pagoda style antenna. As we move our way back, we have a 2200 mA 4-cell Zippy Compact. We have a FR Sky D4R receiver, and these are just the two um, antennas put at 90 degrees. This is a this is a 3D printed part that I found on Thingiverse. Now this thing, um, this is a 3D design part from myself. Um, basically, what I did, I decided to mount my ESC just behind the motor here instead of in this configuration. So what I've done here is uh, designed just a little cover and what it does is it makes this area here from here all the way down nice and smooth but it also acts as a little bit of an air scoop and if we go around to the back you can see there is there is enough uh, room for the air to come through and it, the air is diverted right across the exposed heatsink um, on the ESC now talking about the ESC, this is a 60 amp Turnigy plush ESC and this is a Jurafly 2836-2200kV motor. Um, this is a 6x4 EPROP. Now this comes from, um, I'll put a link in the description, but this is actually a spare part for um, one of the Jurafly planes. I think it's the Comet. Out to the wings then. Uh, we have Turnigy uh, TGY90S Metal Gear servos, M2 threaded steel rods with M2 threaded clevises. Pretty simple build. There's no OSD apart from what the Runcam Swift gives you, and I'm hoping that this will be quite fast. <laughs> 